we want to multiply the given binomials. To multiply two binomials, we can use the acronym FOIL to determine the four products, or we can just think of repeater distribution. If we want to find the product using repeater distribution, we distribute each term in the first binomial into the second binomial. So to find the first product using repeater distribution, we distribute the x in the first binomial into the second binomial, which gives us two products. And then because of the minus 3 fourths, we then distribute negative 3 fourths into the second binomial. And notice how this does give us four products. So let's go ahead and multiply. First we have x times x, and then we have plus x times 1 fourth, and then we have plus, and now we distribute negative 3 fourths, which gives us negative 3 fourths times x, and then plus negative 3 fourths times positive 1 fourth. And now let's determine the products. x times x is equal to x squared. And then we have plus x times 1 fourth, which gives us plus 1 fourth x. Next we have plus negative 3 fourths times x, which gives us plus negative 3 fourths x, which is equivalent to minus 3 fourths x. And then we have plus negative 3 fourths times 1 fourth, which gives us plus negative 3 sixteenths which is equivalent to minus 3 sixteenths. And the last step is to combine like terms. Notice here we have two x terms. 1 fourth x minus 3 fourths x is negative 2 fourths x, which simplifies to negative 1 half x. The simplified product is x squared minus 1 half x minus 3 sixteenths. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, using repeater distribution to find the product, we distribute 2x into the second binomial, which gives us two products, and then we distribute 3 fifths into the second binomial, which gives us a total of four products. So multiplying, we have 2x times 3x, and then plus 2x times negative 2 fifths, And now we distribute 3 fifths, so we have plus 3 fifths times 3x. And then finally we have plus 3 fifths times negative 2 fifths. And now let's determine the products. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. And then we have plus 2x times negative 2 fifths well, two times a negative two fifths, or two over one times a negative two fifths is negative four fifths, and therefore we have plus negative four fifths x, which is equivalent to minus four fifths x. And then we have plus three fifths times three x. Well, three fifths times three, or three over one, is nine fifths, and therefore we have plus nine fifths x. And then we have plus three fifths times a negative two fifths, which gives us plus negative 6 25ths, which is equivalent to minus 6 25ths. And again, in combining like terms, we have two x terms. Negative 4 fifths x plus 9 fifths x is equal to 5 fifths x, which is 1 x, or just x. And therefore, the simplified product is 6 x squared plus x minus 6 25ths. I hope you found this helpful.